nearly Christmas. I want to do Christmassy things and sing Christmas songs, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I am the world's worst guitar player. Okay, okay, maybe not the worst, but massive disclaimer here, I am not a guitar teacher. You should definitely go to a guitar teacher. I'm one of those people who, I don't want to become the world's next best guitarist. I just want to be able to play a few simple songs. My frustration with some of the tutorials that I've seen is they're complicated versions of songs. So if you're still a beginner or you're someone who just wants to learn how to play around the campfire, then this video is for you. So I've selected three Christmas songs which have super simple chords, they're easy to pick up. So even if you just have a little bit of experience or you're just learning to play guitar, by the end of this video, you will be able to learn that song. Now, yes, you could do fancy things and learn the embellishments in the song, but this is just the standard easiest version. So I'm gonna start with the easiest and then I'm gonna progress to the slightly harder ones. What is your favorite Christmas song? That's what I wanna know. And we'll see if it got into this video. So hold on for it. The great thing about Last Christmas is it is the same four chords, pretty simple chords, repeated again and again and again, all the way throughout the song. So you'll start with a C chord. I'll put down below so you know where to place your fingers so it should sound something like this. That's your C chord. Then we're gonna go to an A minor chord. Don't worry about uh, the strumming or anything like that now, just do the chords first. Then we've got a D minor chord. And you only wanna hit the last four strings of this D minor. And then we've got a G chord. And you see the trick when you're switching from the D minor, you can leave your uh, ring finger in the same place, place your pinky finger and then move the other two. It'll help make the transition a little bit smoother. So practice those to make sure you've got them. We've got the C chord, A minor, D minor, and G. You know the song, it kind of goes a bit like doom, doom. Do, 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 do. So the strumming pattern that we're going to go with goes a little something like this. It's going to be down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. You can use a pick if you like. You don't have to. You can just use your fingers and your thumb when you're going down and up. That's absolutely fine too. What you want to focus on is your hand should always be moving up and down. I'm just going to hit down, miss the up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, miss, up, down, up. That's the same strumming pattern and the same four chords that go on and on and on for the whole song. When you've got that strumming pattern, you want to move on to how many times do you do that strumming pattern and when do you change chord. The chord is going to change after you play the full strumming pattern, which is down, down, up, up, down, up. You're gonna do that two times for each chord. So starting with the C chord, you're gonna go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, Change to the A minor chord. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Change to the D minor chord. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. G chord. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And that's it. <laughs> so it's super simple. You only needed a few chords to be able to play this, and you can pretty much get started straight away with practicing it. Even if you, this is a great tip from my actual guitar teacher, which is why you should get one, thank you Richard, is you can keep strumming the guitar so it doesn't really sound awful if while you're changing, you have some open strings. That's fine if you need to take a little bit longer when you're changing your chord. Do that, it will help you. Give it to someone special. 
That is how you play a super, super simple version of Last Christmas. For the singers out there that want to find the right key. Wait there. This is a capo. This is your best friend when singing. Let's say I was singing Last Christmas there, but it was too low for my voice. In this case it wasn't, but let's, let's imagine that it was. And I still want to play Last Christmas. How do I do that? What the capo does is make your guitar, whilst you're still playing the same chords, actually be a little bit higher. For every fret, you pull up the capo. So listen to this. If I play a C chord without the capo, and over here, but then I add the capo, and I play the same chords, but now imagining that where the capo is, is where I need to pretend is the first fret. Be higher. So let me make the same example. I'm going to move it a few frets up, even higher. Last Christmas I gave you. That's way too high for me now. So obviously I don't need this capo. But another reason a capo is great. What I do for most of the songs I play, I go on ultimate guitar. I look up the chords, and then it has this lovely button called transpose, which is basically moving the notes basically one tone up every time. And the magic about that is, if you have some difficult chords, like F chord, I'm looking at you, Nemesis. If you have yucky chords like the F chord, then you can change it. <laughs> so move it higher so that it's a chord that's easier for you to play. <laughs> and all I do is transpose the song until they're chords that are the easiest for me and then I add a capo. So many different options. Use the transpose button and use your capo. They're only about 15 euro. I got one off Amazon. I can leave a link. Now, I don't know if there are other people out there like me who just want to be able to easily play songs and you don't want a teacher who's going to teach you like loads of technique and is going to bore you with so much stuff when you just want to play. You just want to play and enjoy yourself. So if you did, this is a little test as a video for me. But if you enjoy this and you think it's a good idea or you're a friend of mine and you just want to support uh, what I'm doing here, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to get notified. And that will let me know that you are enjoying this video. Maybe I'll make some other ones. Maybe leave me some song requests. All right, song number two. And again, really simple chords, but you're gonna be a little bit faster with your changes. And I should say, the strumming pattern stays exactly the same. So you can still do your down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. The thing you're gonna have to coordinate is you only do one pattern of that strumming pattern, and then you need to change to another chord with your other hand. So, chords are, we're going to do these again, super simple. So the C chord, we did that one before. And you've got a D major chord. So D major. Then you've got a G. And an E minor. Get up to there. And after that, you're going to go C, D, and G for two. A lot to remember. What I normally do is just have my laptop up with ultimate guitar there telling me the chords so that I don't have to remember them. But still, really helpful to, to have them in your mind and, and be able to do it without looking at your phone or a screen. So it's a C, D, G, E minor, and now C, D, and G for two. So all the others, you're doing just one pattern for each chord, and then on the last G, you're gonna hold that one for two. So it goes, practice a little bit something like this. So for one pattern, you're gonna do a C, D, G, E minor, C, D, G for two. just changing those few chords this will be super super easy to play and you won't even have to think about it and I do think this song is just such a great mood setter great great for partying so I'm gonna play it Let's go. 
Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Prospero año y felicidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Prospero año y felicidad are really simple ones again. So for the verse, it's just a G chord, moving to a C chord, moving to a D chord. And they're the only chords that you're going to use for the verse. Now for the chorus, it's G for a really, really long time. And then you've got the, oh, what fun it is to run in a one horse open sleigh. And then these chords are going to change quite quickly. So the chords for the Oh What Fun go, Oh What Fun is C, G, A, D, and then that's C, G, D, G. So a little bit more to remember, but once you've done it a couple of times, it will be much easier. So I'll put the chords for the verse and for the chorus down below. But let's do the strumming pattern first and then you'll get to practice the chords. I'll just have them next to you like I do so then you don't have to remember them. The strumming pattern, or rather the finger picking, is gonna be, so you want to, with your thumb, play the, basically the highest up string. So for the G, it's the last string here. But for example, for the C chord, it's gonna be the second to last string from the top because that's actually your C note. So you wanna be playing your G and then for your C, you wanna be on the second to last one. So you start off with just plucking the first chord and then with your other three fingers, you want to just pluck the last three strings. So you want it to sound a little bit like this. It's gonna be thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers. Do that quite quickly so that's your G chord and you want to do that same thing with all the other chords too so for your C chord you want to start off with as we play the C chord just from the second string you want to go fingers thumb fingers thumb fingers thumb fingers fast So that's your C, and then moving on to the D chord. Now your D chord is played from the third string from the top. So your D string, and you want to hit the D string, just open, no fingers on it, so D, and then your fingers. And uh, my hand's falling. <laughs> Re Quick readjustment. Gorgeous. The song with the chords down below, it's a little bit something like this. So you're going to play the G for eight. So it's going to go. Five, six, seven, eight. I'll be honest with you, it will be quite difficult to sing if you're counting. So at one point, you want to just try practicing with you counting. But after that, you just want to feel where it changes in the music or remember what word it changes at. That can be helpful too. So if you start singing dashing through, so you go. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open. So that's eight. And now we're going to move to the C chord. Slay all the fields we D. 
chord go laughing all the way all right you got this so far so we're doing eight of the g four of the c four of the d and then back to eight of the g so you repeat that one in a loop so we go again so dashing through the snow in one horse open change sleigh o'er the fields we go laughing all the way bells on bobtail ring making spirits bright what fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight so that's your verse now for the jingle bells for jingle bells you're basically doing uh, just g for the whole first two lines so jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way and now you're going to change here super quickly. So you only get two finger picks at each different chord. So C, oh, what fun in G it is to ride in a A, a one horse open sleigh. Hey, that's your D. And then go again. So G, bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Now get ready. So it's C, oh, what fun. Now there's no A, you go straight back to the D in a one horse open sleigh. Back to G. And that's it. So if you want to have like a grand finale, we do love a grand finale. When you're at the last um, oh what fun, so you're doing your C, oh what fun it is to ride in a normally you'd go, you'd go just to one horse open sleigh. So what you want to do is Stay on the D. One horse open. And then change to the G for sleigh. Sleigh. And then just do one strum of the G chord to finish powerfully. So let's do the whole song. through the... Now do you see, do you see how this is a little bit low for me? It's not all that fun to sing. So, capo, magic capo. Let's try two up and we'll see where that lands. So, dashing through the snow. It's a little bit low. I'm gonna go two more up. If you go too high up, the guitar starts to sound a little bit whiny, but I think we're okay up to here. So, dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. All the fields we go, laughing all the ha 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 ha. Bells on bucktail ring. Making spirits bright, what fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Dashing, I don't know the other verse, we're gonna go dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, the fields we go, laughing all the ha 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 ha, bells on bump <laughs> making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open with playing a song in a very short amount of time learning it so with practice you will get more and more comfortable and if you're a complete beginner then give it a couple of months this will be so super easy for you I guarantee you so keep at it so there you have it three Christmas songs that I hope you can play super easily if you missed a note nobody cares you just want to enjoy playing some songs with your friends and family over Christmas so yeah I hope you take these songs to your next COVID safe party and you really enjoy playing some Christmas music. You don't have to do the most difficult things to have a good time. So enjoy it and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas.